We'll use the Wave extension to review the impact of low contrast content. Wave automatically detects low contrast issues for text. It does not detect it for images. We'll manually check images with Wave. You can review very low contrast errors in the Details tab in the Low Contrast section, or you can review them in the Contrast tab. I'm on the Marine Mammal Commission webpage for their 2023 survey results summary. First, WAVE detected 11 contrast errors. I'll select the icons in WAVE and go to them on the page. The contrast errors are with headings and links. There are several of them, and they're for main parts of the content, so already the impact of the low contrast content is high. This page also has a pie chart of image. The images here need to be manually checked. On the Contrast tab, I'll use the color picker to check the contrast between adjacent colors manually. So on the pie chart, I'll use the color picker to select the white and then the blue next to it. The contrast is too low between these colors, so this pie chart has low contrast issues to consider too. Images with text must be manually checked too. I'm going to the Marine Mammal homepage to demo how to manually check images with text on them. The best way to do this is by checking the text with the lightest part of the image. Again, I'll use the color pickers on the contrast tab to do this. I'll color pick the white text and the lightest part of the image. Keep in mind that the text on an image can change position when the screen size changes, so make sure to spot check the image on different screen sizes. You're ready to use Wave to review the impact of low contrast content on your webpage.